Here are 10 things you should never under any circumstances do in VR chat. And trust me, it's gonna get worse the further we go. Number 10, don't be a child. Or even worse, don't be a squeaker. Look, I don't have the time nor energy to constantly be muting and blocking children. And I hate having to turn them down. No, no, no. When I say turn them down, I don't mean volume. I mean, when a child hey, asks date? to date me, I gotta turn them down. I'm not trying to catch a case, okay? Talking about dates, how about we don't date in VR chat? Story time, I had a friend who dated in VR chat. They met in real life, moved in together, did the deed, met each other's families, and now she's dead. Yeah, 0 to 100 real quick, I know. And in case you're wondering, she didn't get murdered by him. She caught the cough, aka COVID, from him and died. But if she hadn't dated in VR chat, she wouldn't have even caught the cough and died. Talking about coughs, why are you playing VR chat when you're ill? No, but like seriously, why are you sniffing into your mic like you've just done a fat line of coke? It actually makes me sick. Keep your grotty coughs and runny noses out of your mic. Talking about mic, why do people feel the need to ear rape my ears by blasting music into their mics? Let me picture you a scene. Imagine you're sitting in a nice, quiet world all by yourself, and all of a sudden an obnoxious child starts blasting atrocious music and totally ruining your vibe. Please, if you take anything away from this video, hit the mute button before you blast music, or just go to your own world, sit by a mirror and blast whatever sounds you like. Talking about mirrors, do not, under any circumstances, look into a VR mirror. No, but seriously, not even a glance, not even a peek. The minute you do, you'll forever be engulfed in an endless cycle of self-obsessed mirror gazing that'll keep you in a trance for hours and hours. I mean, let's be real, mirror people are everywhere in VR chat. But you know what else is everywhere? Drunks. Who thought it was a good idea to drink in VR chat? Imagine putting yourself in a super vulnerable state whilst around children, creeps, predators, or even worse, Karens. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm not even in VR chat, but rather a pub, or as you Americans like to call it, a bar. Talking about Americans, why are fat people- Oh my god, I'm joking, relax. I totally wasn't just about to associate Americans with fat people. But seriously, jokes. Don't joke in VR chat. Like ever. I once told a joke to an American and I said, Hey, hey, America isn't the land of the free, it's the land of the gluttony. <sighs> You're getting blocked. Wait, what? And he blocked me. I honestly don't get why people take jokes so seriously. You know who else takes things so seriously? Trusted users. Never play VR chat long enough to get a trusted rank. AKA, don't live in VR chat. Come on, guys. But seriously, why are you sleeping in VR? You wake up in VR, you eat in VR, you get drunk in VR. Where does it end? Mark Zuckerberg's literally got you in a chokehold. Actually, no, it's even worse. Zuck's got you on a leash. Talking about leashes, let's talk about the sexual stuff in VR chat. Do you ERP in VR chat? Do you brag about all the women you've e-dated? Do you date someone for six and a half months, get to know every intimate detail off each other, make plans of marriage and babies, only to suddenly go ghost and start dating a minor within a few days of the breakup? Sorry, that was so specific and totally wasn't a personal experience of mine. <clears throat> anyway, if the answer is yes, then congrats, you're officially an incel. Take this trophy and stick it up your ass. Okay, here we are, the number you've all been waiting for. Besides from my number, of course. I know you want it. Sorry, that was a little egotistical of me to assume that. But I mean, if you really want my number, subscribe and leave a comment and- So what is the number one thing you should never, ever do in VR chat? Well, you shouldn't make a documentary about VR chat's most hated person. I mean, the comment section in that video is literally a war zone. Check it out. I love you, cutie. Thank you.